I feel that uh, if you leave the saver open, paired with Hecarim, a lot of team fighting uh, power will be gifted again for EDG. So, Fable Gaming banning it away is uh, them learning the lesson the hard way here, Yuko. Uh, they will be banning away the Jax, which is one of Xiao Zhang's best champion uh, as well. Mm -hmm. So I wonder what will be the pick for the top lane of Xiao Zhang, because oftentimes, you know, when you see a Camille, the best answer is the Jax. He can still go for the Renekton as one of a more balanced top lane champion for him. Uh, but wow, okay, they are going for the Varus here, which is not the meta champion that we often see, but for Duan Yu, it's his best champion. It's basically in meta, but the Duan Yu meta. Yeah, and Duan Yu. I guess that's okay. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're gonna have to play with wow. the champions Brom. that you're comfortable with. Mm. Brom, I haven't seen this in 75,000 years. I don't know. <laughs> right? Not the Oh, not the list. Never mind. I got baited. Yeah, you, you got definitely, you got baited there. Weibo Gaming is going back to a classic for Duan Yu. Now Xiao Zhang will be rounding up the draft and him going for the Fiora. Seems like it was just earlier, right? In game number one that we saw this matchup. But Xiao Zhang is ready for the challenge. He's ready to show Zihan how to play this matchup. He's ready for the challenge and quite literally, he has the grand challenge because he's using Fiora. I, ha I had to put it there. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. Thank you. Exactly. Touché, <laughs> right? Touché. <laughs> but yeah, alright. So this is this could be the final, arguably, the final draft for mm -hmm. the last series. He even has the Edward game. You know, yeah. most of the players really are on their winter clothing. But some of them is very much resistant. <laughs> like some of them are just uh, dressed in their own esports jersey. But I agree with you, Yuko. That uh, Coach Lao Bai Lao Bai's attire was on fire today. Hopefully, hopefully, you know that will translate in EDG getting another win for themselves because that will really be a very good momentum to hold heading into the playoffs. Aside from the clothes, let's see if their gaming will be on fleek as well. As we jump into game number two for series number four, Weibo Gaming versus mm -hmm. Edward Gaming. You saw the draft, you saw the bands. Let's see if mm -hmm. we will finally witness the second 2-0 of the day. Yeah, exactly. Feels like that when I'm the one casting, we have shorter games, we have fast games, we have crisp games here. So, uh, <laughs> bearing any... Uh, I would say unexpected outcome here. I feel that EDG has a better draft still. Uh, they are going for a defensive ward setup this time around. Zihan is not going to commit the same mistake that he did in game number one that gave the first blood kill and gold over to EDG in game one. There's a trivia here. Um, yeah. Alone picked Severe and achieved a KDA of 12. Yeah. KDA of 12 in the last <laughs> game. Yeah. That's awesome. I don't think he died, right? Like, uh, if there was a Not way that. for them to uh, put the Eternity symbol in there, <laughs> they would. Because that was just a perfect KDA for alone on the server. And that was main, the, mainly the reason why Weibo Gaming elected to really ban it away. But in return, alone still had a very good champion in his hands, right? His Saya is also one of the best in the tournament. And you can see yeah. their small aggression here on the bot lane, Duan Yu. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna dive in because uh, wow. Gaekwon was able to isolate alone from his Sounds support. Nice. But hey, at least it was a good attempt. Saya still hurts a lot in the early mm -hmm. game or that's because alone is using it. So it's one or the other. But yeah, um, that means no one died. Mm -hmm. That's a good side step from alone as well while waiting for his support. So yeah. I think it's still pretty even for yeah. the early game. I, I actually want, would want to favor EDG here, especially with the way uh, things are going. Even by himself, alone was by himself, right? Home alone. Even, I think, is the best movie out there. But anyway, just going back, he was home alone right <laughs> there and then uh, in the bottom lane, but it did not matter. Now 07 Eleven is going to dive the top side. I love the Christmas references here, but 0711 has his eyes set on Zihan, uh -huh. but he he's a little bit too wow. far, so I guess they would 
I thought they were gonna focus on the turret, yeah. but I think they're gonna rotate <gasps> over to the mid. Home alone. alone is literally alone right now. Let's see the jump in. There is the That's five. A flash. Even a flash is not gonna be enough. He still goes six feet underground, yeah. and that is still going over to each out. Okay, well that took a long time for of him being alone, right? Like Langui had to know better. You see the vision, you see the pathing of Fan. If the jungler is not on the top side, obviously he's going to be here trying to help out the one you in his quest. Uh, and that will be a first blood heavy uh first blood gold and XP heading over to the Aatrox, which is always a delight to see here, uh Yuko, and always an advantage for the scaling champion in the Aatrox. So EDG needs to be careful this time. See, I agree. Whenever you think about scaling champions, Aatrox is definitely one of the champions in at least A or S tier. So, um, it's a pretty good start for the side of WBG. Right now, though, I think um, Alon will be accompanied by his support so mm -hmm. they can force a 2v2 at this point on. Yeah. Looking at the barrel lane side, though, uh, Zishang will just try to, uh, I don't know, repost or... Angard, his <laughs> opponent. Yeah, this matchup should favor the Fiora. Unlike with what with what happened in game number one, in where there was a early Christmas gift of our first blood uh, that Zihan gave over to the side of EDG. Uh, in an even state, I really favor the Fiora because uh, there's a lot mm -hmm. of damage that you have. Plus, the repost is a very good counter to the hook shot or the X Tech ultimatum. Now, Jay Chan is going for the engage, but. A very well challenged, uh, uh, channeled Justice Punch by Langui uh, was able to save him uh, from that engage. But yeah, just going back on the top line, top lane. If this continues, Xiao Zhang will have the night of his. Uh, yeah, will will have this game wrap for himself because uh, I, I I really firmly believe that believe that she he is going to be favored here on the top side. Agreed, agreed. Well, let's see how um, the narrative will um, happen. Because, you know, there's a lot of rotations coming through. And then, I realized something. See, whenever I look at the draft, I try to uh, see the possible combinations, or at least how the fights will go. What do one you have a difficult time protecting himself? Because if you have Saya, mm -hmm. you have Flash, you also have the Feather, Feather Storm. Storm. But yeah. if you're Varus, you only have literally the Flash. And... Yeah. EDG's champions, yeah. it's a lot more in your face. You have you have Galio, you have Corky, you even have Hecarim. Yeah. So I think Mario is gonna have a hard time. But let's see, let's see. Yeah, very immobile, but does have the chains of corruption, which is uh one of the best ultimates when it comes to team fights as well. So we have to put that into consideration. Plus the fact that this is Duan Yu's best champion. Oh, Fei is going hyper aggressive against Xiao Zhang. There will be a handshake here, Yuko. Rift Herald goes over to EDG and Dragon goes over to Weibo. You get Dragon, we get Rift Herald if you remember that meme. But yeah, um, <laughs> no stealing that's gonna happen no here. They are gonna play this one slowly, Chain but someone corruption. that's not so slowly is actually do one new chain of corruption. It's gonna come through, it is gonna connect, but was not enough to secure the kill. Someone that might secure the kill though is one Z Shang under turret. They they're really charging in onto their opponents. 0711 mm -hmm. has eyes set on fan and Fei, but it looks like they'll be able to go away. <laughs> there will be the combos oh. as well as the Justice Punch, but here is Shelly being someone at the dragon point. right exactly this is really to my surprise because oftentimes you know the rift herald is being summoned in the mid lane but they don't care they want to put in the pressure here into the bot lane and edg will be happy to get that tower for themselves now the 1v1 here by 0711 lots of hellos lots of highs or in your vocabulary it's the log taps coming in from the junglers <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for highlighting that I used love taps <laughs> multiple times when I cast I mean, you're the it, only one it, using it. <laughs> how I would. It shows how many years we've been casting together, but that at the same too. time, we aren't usually partnered. So, you know, <laughs> Merry Christmas, bro. <laughs> exactly. Merry Christmas to you and your family. EDG, again, finding the advantage here in the bot lane tower. Uh, uh, advantage to the side of EDG and with what is happening right now Weibo Gaming elected to go for the Infernal Dragon which is a very good advantage to have especially with the double marksman composition that they are currently running but they don't have any magic damage source which is really troubling me right now which uh, I think 
you know, if, the, uh, if, if we are to look at the items being built here by the Zeri, we might see the AP Zeri variant, which is the Ludens Echo, plus Crown as his first two items. Let's see. Let's see later on, right? I mean, um, I AP Zeri, sure, but as we've mentioned in the previous game, AD Zeri is something that's more comfortable for our eyes. But again, we're, we're just casters, we're not the pro players. Anyway, <laughs> jumping back to the game, uh, in the mid lane, it was a quick, quick main wave shove from mm -hmm. EDG, uh, Zaya, as well as Galio will have to fall back now. There is going to be uh, Jikron trying mm -hmm. to see if there's any other members of EDG near him. Zero seven eleven will be there. I think he is gonna die and he will die at the back line. Do on you again. That is gonna be a very, very clean kill coming in from EDG and the kill does go over the Saya. I don't understand. Weibo Gaming had vision the entire time. They know that they are outnumbered, but they still went on to engage. And immediately for the punish are the members of EDG. 0711 is now level 10. And the gap here in the jungle, uh, favoring the Hecarim will really be a big blow against the members of Weibo Gaming. Now Faye being mm -hmm. left by himself here on the top side. Wow! There is Zihan, but there's gonna be the hook trap as well, connecting onto the Hexec Ultimatum. One is gonna get locked down. EDG, they're running away. Featherstorm being popped by Alone as well. There's gonna be the exhaust the connecting onto you. The Q from Varus will not be enough. The Featherstorm connects to two though, but EDG, enough time. Two of them Ooh. will recall, but it will be cancelled mm -hmm. by Varus. Now they're still on the run. There's gonna be the stun connecting, yep. and with that, WBG will have to get the turn. Yeah, all those folks were not intended to really take them down, but it is to delay their tempo and uh, make sure to cancel their recall. The prize that uh, Weibo Gaming was able to get was a tower on the top side. Not to mention that they were also able to defend the, their own tower on the top side. Okay, so finally we get to see the items. It is going to be the AP, sorry, AD Zeri. So uh, triple AD on the side of Weibo Gaming. That means that the tanks of EDG just needs to build armor and it will be very efficient for them. They'll be uh they'll be surviving a lot mm -hmm. of team fights right after this. So thank you for the item check. So hopping back into the game, it's still honestly uh WBG or Rebo Gaming looking for the openings, looking for the fights. But EDG they're they're cool as a cucumber. Except for 0711 because he is usually the one that dives first. Yeah. Love that you just had to insert a fruit cucumber it is <laughs> and now Weibo Gaming is getting collapsed on here by the members of EDG. This Hecarim is so so fast and this team fight might start as soon as Jaychan lands a hook. Someone in the middle, the dragon has been secured by Aatrox, but now Zihan in the middle of everything does get annihilated. The kill going over <gasps> to Saya and 0711 again trying to go to chase for Faye was not oh. able to do so. It was a good try. Zeri is still alive, but someone that is alive right now oh is you as well with the Gatling gun. There is no special delivery. There's going to be the Q being popped again from Duan Yu, yeah. but no casualties. And here's the replay. Yeah, more importantly, the dragon was secured here by Fan. Very good. By a smite coming in for fan to secure the second dragon of the game. And that was one casualty. Zihan going down 0711, not catching the very mobile Zeri in the end was also a very good thing to happen for Weibo Gaming. But more importantly, with that second dragon takedown by Weibo Gaming, there is a clear win condition for them here, Yuko. Right? Like three dragons mean one thing. That's a dragon soul. An infernal dragon soul joining the triple AD composition here by Weibo Gaming is the dream. So if EDG won't be able to deny them of the infernal dragon soul, that will be a very good advantage to have for Weibo Gaming. And I dare say it, right? Like if if ever that happens, that might mean that we will have a game number three. That means I'm the cursed caster. You Whenever are. I cast, there's three <laughs> games. <laughs> but let's see, let's see, you know. Um, let's not call it. Let's not curse myself until there is no game number yeah. three. But I do agree. It's all about being able to stop the um, possibilities of Weibo Gaming just really um, getting their win conditions. Yeah. Aside from EDG being able to get theirs, it's see if you're Saya, if you're Corky, it's yeah. difficult to withstand the 
damage coming out of a Varus, coming out of an Aatrox, so might as well stop the combo. Wow, you being chased on here by Faye. Okay, oh, another no. one. Okay, good flash. <gasps> oh, that was a solo kill by Faye, and Weibo Gaming really badly needed that. He used flash. And he still was not able to survive that. So that's a handful of seconds where there's no Gatling Gun. There is no Corky Ultimate. Mm -hmm. There's no delivery. So you can't really pivot around your positioning in okay. the next team fight. You have to wait for Corky to be up. And it's so uncharacteristic for the mid laner of EDG to commit that mistake. Now going for a potential engage at 0 7 11 immediately backs away because he was spotted on a ward and the sweeper lenses gave that information two wards being cleared here by 0711 lots of wards actually being planted by weibo gaming on the red side or red quadrant of edg now langui is here to play guard yep there you go taunt are going to be collecting phase there as well but he can't really do much because langui is very tanky he was just being popped there as well but <gasps> decided to disrupt the combo but langui was no. able to jump his way into safety the laser coming out from Faye won't really do much but at least they were able to push edg back yeah that was a 4v5 and i dare say it weibo gaming was so lucky that uh edg was not able to get a team fight that they wanted right then and right there because that was the ideal spot right like uh, that's a choke point and speaking of choke point weibo gaming is still here challenging the members of edg i was surprised because if um i'm in, if i were in front of a corky i would be walking away but they don't care they're taking the damage they're mm -hmm. buying time and probably because it's it's not the list he's so tanky he can take it yeah, it's uh, one of the best things imaginable for your frontline for Rainbow <laughs> Gaming. Nautilus really serves as the big frontline, not to mention that he has the stasis engine as well uh, to use if ever needed. Quick Silver uh, for Langui. But more importantly, are you seeing the gap in the top lane, right? Like the Fiora is winning 1.5k ahead of Zihan. That's, uh, that's always going to be a win condition for EDG. If Xiaozhang is winning, they can dissect the map. Honestly, that's an item if you're a Fiora. So mm -hmm. you have to really utilize that. But anyway, right on cue, the next dragon will be up. Let's hope and see Third if dragon. EDG will be able to stop the uh, the three dragons secured by Weibo Gaming. Um, now they're gonna try to go with the dragon dance. Zihan, remember, is there at the back line. That's gonna be the initiate coming from Whoa, EDG. They do down. get the Nautilus. No more front line for the side of WG. <gasps> but the burst and the damage is definitely yeah. there. You have Duong in the back line. Will he be able to snipe anyone? 0711 is pretty low, but he is at the back. You have okay. you there with the Gatling gun as well. The dragon is being targeted by EDG. WBG, they're still healthy. You still have Faye. You still have that Zeri. Your pocket pick Zeri. Zihan takes a few damage, but mm -hmm. that is against a Fiora. Hexic Ultimate being popped there as well, but that's going to be the Gatling Gun being used. Let's see. One <gasps> Hexic there, Ultimate! So now he might get taken down. Now you have oh, gets Duan annihilated. The, not, the, not Nautilus. Actually, that was Hecarim that got taken down. Now it looks like WBG. They have their win condition. Duan, you cannot be reached. Oh, there you go. Alone. Zihan! Gets one more. caught out. That's the double kill going over to Saya and EDG. They just need one kill. They will be able to make things happen for their side. Yeah, no jungler for both sides. And J Chan will have to surrender this ice dragon. That means that EDG was able to deny the win condition of Weibo Gaming. With the 5k gold advantage that they have, they are poised to take down another objective, which is this mid lane tower. But they are deciding against that and they want to go for vision here in the Baron Pit. They get Vision, they get the Dragon, and Wait. now possibly they wow. could get the Baron. It's okay, honestly, oh. it's rushed, but you might as well do it. Yeah, it's a double marksman composition, which is very good in taking down Baron, but this is still very risky. Oh no, oh no, the Baron is very, very low. Other members are Saya got it. Saya was able to secure, now they have to get away. 0711 will try to sacrifice himself to see if other members will be able to run away. Zishuang will be targeted by Fan. They have a turret, they're safe. That was a good call for EDG. Yeah, EDG now has the Baron to really help their squad. Weibo Gaming will be getting the consolation prize of the mid lane tower. But EDG 
Should be all smiles right now here, Hyuko. Not only were they able to deny the clouds, sorry, the ice soul from Weibo Gaming, they're also now empowered by Baron Buff and they can just take more gold for themselves, open this game even further. You're looking at the gold chart alone, 0711, and even you would be topping the gold charts right here, 17 minutes. They are rich. They are very, very rich. And they translate that into the game. You mm -hmm. see the um, the aggression and just how confident they are with trying to yeah. either look for pickups or quite literally pick someone off. Right now, Hegarim <sighs> is just... He can take anything. I think he yeah. can take a few CCs and he'll still be okay. Now, that was a wasted ultimate. Now, Xiao Zhang is trying to play with fire here. EDG's members, all their objective right here right now to take down the towers and they will be successful in taking down a tier 2 in the mid lane now EDG is going to be content they're not going to uh, brute force there's a push instead they're going to go for the Elder Dragon Weibo Gaming here to challenge they do get first dips on the Elder Dragon but they have no like, vision um, there you go 0, 7, 11 and the others are still trying to push the enemies away but Weibo Gaming they know it they smell it that they're trying to contest, so they will go all in. Skill the Trap has been taken down. You have the adaptive defenses. Okay. Frog last to jump in, and EDG again at the back line. One does become golden, but it looks like there yeah, is not going to be enough follow up from WBG. Galio does pop in with the ultimate. You have the one with the back <gasps> line. Double might get taken down. Zero seven eleven is still okay. He's alive. Do not no, worry, my co caster. But then here is the final fight. The Elder Dragon Stolen. will be taken by Zeri. And with that, WBG, they can either go all in or they will take a step back. And to that, I say they got both. Well, they got one kill and they take a step back. And Weibo Gaming might just have gotten the objective needed to prolong this game. We look into that replay. And 0711 is already out of the picture. Zero HP. Now, this might fight ended up with Fei of all people. Getting the Elder Dragon executes, now joining a team of Weibo Gaming for the next few minutes, and EDG needs to be careful. And with that, it's another, well, a handful more minutes that the game will be extended because Weibo Gaming, they're the ones charging in on the mid lane right now. You will try to defend, but I don't think he really can't do much. And with that, Weibo Gaming. They take a step back with smiles yeah. on their faces, plus Zihan securing the last outer barrel lane turret. Yeah, exactly. Right now, Weibo Gaming and EDG are going at it. Back and forth here, Yuko. And uh, this is anyone's game, right? Like, the goalie that you are seeing from EDG, it's negligible right now. And Weibo Gaming still has half of the duration for the Elder Dragon to go for another team fight. In fact, they're forcing EDG to face check and they're starting the Baron. Almost at 50% now for the Baron. I I want to see EDG try. They have the Hecarim, but they looks no like they, okay, they, finally. they might go with Secure. the... Okay, I thought they were going to go with the Gamble, but anyway, that's going has to be pop there as well. But a lot of them are really just falling into the hands of Weibu Gaming. Camille's yeah. so powerful. Fiora gets taken down. There he was able to reach Corky as well. And it was a lot of things that yeah. went in favor of Weibu Gaming. Yeah, just still has a few of those Elder Dragon buff EDG with just two people. Can they defend this? They have to if they want to end 2-0, but it's difficult because Weibo Gaming, they really are knocking in on the base. Alone will be there trying to clear the wave, and you have the tank CC chain to save himself with a CC chain. That will be game number two going over to Weibo Gaming, and we have a game number three. Weibo Gaming is still alive.